Hello everyone, I have another video for you guys and this time I'm going to be teaching you how to do the real thermal effect on uh, my, on my uh, Avertage I used it on the Barrett Thermal where it uh, actually showed it w w with a very very much easy to see, very nice with thermal vision now I'm going to teach you how to do that it's rather simple yet a friend of mine asked me to make a tutorial and here I am uh, let's see let's find ourselves a good thermal clip uh, if they're using cold blood and they blend into the background, you don't want it because it's not going to look nice. They have to be contrasting with the background. Let's see, make this clip. That's decent. We're not looking for real like greatness. We're just looking for a good test. And I'll do. Delete this. And to split, you press S and it will split the clip. Now um, what you want to do is first of all let's crop this so it looks a little bit more nicer when it's going up to YouTube. Uh, you can basically when you're cropping all you do is hold control and move it up and down until you have a nice match and then press name it type in a name and save it and you'll always have it there. So we're gonna, let's find out where we actually uh, go thermal right there. So let's do split it right there so you know that's the part we're going to be editing now you don't have to split it there you can do it without it but the way if you don't if you don't split it it just makes it so you have to do one more step and that step can make it much more harder using keyframes now when I mean harder I mean harder for people who do not know how to use Sony Vegas so it just like I'm doing it very simple now we have this him of the actual thermal now we're going to go to the UFX and uh, color curves and use infrared that's pretty much all and that's why you want it to be white and black because if they're blending you will not notice that it will just look plain and voila let's take a look at it granted you can also even though I did not use this in my uh, what's it called uh, montage you can also if you have after effects do the same effect yet you can make a cookie cut on this which um, at the very end video when you see the ending clip ending result you may see I may have done or may not have either way you basically have your clip right there let's watch it okay hope you enjoyed my tutorial I'll be making plenty more keep watching